Hello. It may be difficult to imagine, but at one point, Ithaca College didn't have any indoor spaces big enough to hold convocation, commencement, or conferences without renting private property. Nor did athletics have a proper place to practice. This all changed with the construction of the Hill Center. Come with me as I explore the history of this building and the essential role it has played in promoting athletics, school spirit, and a rich community of learning. Welcome to another episode of Ithaca College, then and now. The Hill Center was constructed in 1963 and was dedicated on December 5, 1964. The first event ever to be held in the building was a basketball game on December 8. The building wasn't known as the Hill Center just yet, but was instead called the Gymnasium. It wasn't until 1968 that the college named the Gymnasium after Lawrence S. Hill, a former dean of physical education. The large gym inside Hill was named after Ben White, secretary of the college. The Hill Center provided the college with enough space to finally hold large conferences and events on its own property. More importantly, the athletics team, who had long been crammed into converted theaters, finally had space to practice and compete. Hill Center's exterior has changed relatively little over the years, but the area around Hill has changed significantly. When it was first built, the gymnasium was on the relative edge of the campus, which was completely bare at the time. Today, the Center for Health Sciences, Smitty Hall, and the Dillingham Center have all joined the gymnasium, and the trees and vegetation have grown in. Perhaps the greatest alteration to the area around Hill came when the Wayland Center was built in the late 1990s. A series of staircases used to climb the slope in the space between Fort Hall and Hill Center. After Wayland was built, these stairs were replaced with a long ramp to improve handicap accessibility. However, the most interesting renovations have taken place within the Hill Center. Did you know that Hill used to have its own bowling alley? From 1965 on, the bowling alley operated in the buildings downstairs and was very popular with the students. In 1988, the college removed the alley to make room for classrooms and offices for the School of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation. Today, Classrooms 53 through 56 occupy the space where the bowling alley once was. The only remaining piece of the bowling alley is this bowling pin, which was a trophy awarded to the winning team in a faculty competition, the last game played on the alley before it was removed. The Ben Light Gymnasium has seen some interesting changes too. In the 1960s, the weightlifting area was an exposed balcony, completely open to the rest of the gymnasium. Later, the weight room was closed off though you can still see where the old handrails have been integrated into the walls. However, other areas of the building, like the swimming pool, haven't changed much. Except for minor cosmetic changes, the pool has remained close to its original design and appearance. The Hill Center is at a crossroads. While the building has hosted every convocation ceremony and many sporting events since it was built, the construction of the new Athletics and Events Center signals impending renovations to Hill Center as the building changes to assume a new role on campus. Do you have memories of the Hill Center? Do you remember the bowling alley? Please help us preserve college history and share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section of this video. Thanks for helping us remember Ithaca College, then and now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.